Hello guys, a while ago I made a video on my barrel sorting system using a router and how it fixed the problem with thoroughness where it wouldn't try to fill all the barrels before putting stuff into an output chest that was designated for non-barrel items. So it was just constantly trying to split all the items between all the possible destinations and like for example if I put a stack of iron in, it would put half of them here and half of them in the in the chest. Well, there's something new called a machine filter. Um, it, it lets you do this, where you can choose the only, so it'll only look at certain machines. So um, that pretty much makes my last design obsolete. All you need for this, see this is where my items come in from the output of my ore processor, so any item any item that I put into here will be handled correctly. Um, this, fil this filter is pu pushing downwards, so if I put uh, some some stacks in there, it'll pull them out, stick them into the bar into the router, and they'll go into the barrel, which is over here. See, um, I need those torches. Out of torches. So with the barrel system, like like what you just saw me do, you need to make sure that they, all the barrels that you don't want items in stay full with like a filler item, because um, any valid destination, any valid inventory, the router's going to try to fill it evenly with the rest. Um, oh yeah, that's some sulfur goo coming from my sulfur goo farm. This this is basically every farm I have in the world. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Alright, so this filter pushes pushes items down from the inner chest, and we got a pneumatic tube, the router, another filter going up, and this chest, a crystal chest, something that can hold a bunch of items for everything that I put in here that doesn't have a barrel. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm assuming you've seen my previous video or, or kind of know about how routers and barrels work. Basically they all have to be touching and then it'll the router will detect all of them as long as they're touching so um, these are all touching and in the corners there's actually a barrel in the bottom that you can't see a cobblestone barrel behind these that's making these all touch so the router can see all of them um, the only upgrades I have uh, well actually I think I have three there's a machine filter upgrade and I'll tell you how to make that ap after I explain this yeah, the speed boost. I don't really think speed boost makes a huge difference. It doesn't seem like it. But bandwidth is also really important, so it can move stacks at a time instead of just one item. But the the main point of this video is this is a machine filter upgrade. Um, that's what makes this so easy. Um, you can actually make a bunch of complex systems using the machine filter upgrade. For example, my charcoal setup. Wood comes into the into the system. It's all handled by routers. So these routers can pull items out, extract from west sides, only look at iron furnaces, you know, pulls it pulls the finished charcoal out, and then this one um, insert in the bottom sides of the generators, see so only looks at generators. So this is all done with the machine filter, a big system um, for producing and using charcoal for EU. Um, so that really opens up a lot. I, I almost thought about using these for my, my uh, ore processor using routers with uh, machine filter upgrades. Um, these, uh, for the redstone for this thing, you also need redstone to pulse these. Um, let me just show you, it's back here. I just have a timer. <clears throat> it's running, I think, uh oh, yep. That happens sometimes when you click a timer with an item in your hand, uh oh. All right, <clears throat> two second timer. Um, so you can see how it's the power is reaching this filter. Um, the reason it's reaching this one also is because there's a wooden block here, and then the power it powers a block which which gets the filter that way. Um, so they're both pulsing exactly at two seconds. Every two seconds they pulse at exactly the same time. The reason that works is because if there was a clog in the filter. I know I've explained this in like a let's play video before, but this I need to explain it again for this specifically. Um, 
if there was a clog, let me see, for example, crescent hammer. Basically, if there's no barrel for a crescent hammer, every two seconds, this this pulses and this pulses at the same time if there was stuff in this chest. So, um, this would instantly, like, right when the two seconds timer hit, this would instantly pull the item out into this chest, and then this one would also simultaneously pull one out of this chest. Um, by the time it travels through this pipe, this thing has already been cleared, so there's no need for a delay, just this this one length of pipe is is the delay. That's enough. So that's all you need to do. Um, so now let me show you how to make a machine filter. Um, you need something called a crystallizer. Machine filter. That thing. Um, in, a sh in shaped crafting you have to put this stuff in there and you need this. You need to find one of these in either a dungeon or one of those obsidian platforms. Um, you, you, you probably find find some, I mean it's not too hard to find these, you'll, you, you'll probably find a lot. Um, but in order to make this thing you need a crystallizer machine. And uh, the only thing uh, valuable is this thing, in, in varium drop. Um, I know there's like, it's like a temporary recipe right now. Invarium. There you go. That one diamond, basically, some gold and some lead. Okay, that's not it though. It, when when you put it in this machine, you put it into you put the three things in these slots. Um, there's a progress bar, and you need to power it. You need to you need to power it with this uh, thing. It's called a uh, furnace heater, and if, it's gonna look different in your if you're not using this texture pack, this is the Sortex Fanver texture pack. Um, here it is. And this this texture pack's from the FTB launcher. So um, in order to make this heater thing, to power the crystallizer, you need some lead and some more lead. So a bunch of lead. Now, you're still not done. In order to power that thing, you have two options. You can either make a solar turbine, I think it's called, this thing, which I didn't do, this is way more work. You, the other option is just to make a battery, battery block, this thing, because when you craft it, it has full charge. So some lead and iron and sulfuric acid, not too much work. So that's what I did. Then you just stick the battery next to the, the furnace heater, next to the crystallizer, and put your three things in, and the progress bar will give you the logic matrix thing. That's it. Then you just go ahead and stick it in your, in this. Let me see if I can remove it. I don't know how to remove this upgrade. Press delete to remove this upgrade. I'll show you setting it up. So you, I guess you shift right click and see this is what you get. So I want to insert, there you go, click it, barrel. You can click it and see the different options. Um, and after it detects the ones in your network, it goes through like a bunch of different machines. And you can actually type. So um, you can say iron furnace, which is what I did in my charcoal setup. But I'm just going to do barrel. So insert barrel, visit all, visit near. I'm just going to do visit all. Yeah, so that's how that works. All right, that's it. So that hopefully that simplifies things for you guys if you're going to use barrels. Um, I will see you next time.